Do you ever find yourself getting tangled in what seems like a web of problems? Or find yourself duplicating behavior that doesn't get the best results? If so, perhaps it's time to take a look at your beliefs. Hi, I'm Mike Lally of KnowYourMind.com. Welcome to part six of How to Change Beliefs. You know, it's an eye-opener to take a personal inventory of your habits. See, many people get caught up doing the same things in the same way each and every day. Taking a more creative approach to the day seldom makes any to-do list. Habit is like an infinitely long highway. You get to a place, but you miss so much on the journey and your curiosity is compromised and stifled. Life is so much more exhilarating when you exercise choice. To become a highly effective person requires having choice, being able to choose one or more ways to reach a specific destination. Now the human mind is a complex system that seems to thrive on curiosity and creativity. It is stimulated by chaos and it's natural to produce habits born out of your beliefs. But it's rare to look at your own inventory of beliefs and decide where an adjustment will be beneficial, even transformative. See, limiting beliefs play a significant role in the habits that you learn. They strengthen the rules that govern all of your actions. As you know, everybody experiences problems. They are unavoidable. Yet it is surprising just how many of these problems are caused by and exacerbated by the beliefs we unconsciously hold to be 100% certain. Perhaps it's time to pause and reflect. See, problems can get coiled and twisted together and you can easily feel snared, confused and trapped. And once in this state, it becomes troublesome, even hopeless to see a way clear. Yet on reflection, just how many of these problems are self-created, almost certainly unknowingly. Just how do you free yourself from the maze? Well, the ultimate and most effective way is to confront your limiting beliefs. Take them on. Recognize, acknowledge, and challenge them. In life, I think it's fair to say you get what you ask for. The flip side is also true. You don't get what you don't ask for. I mean, do you ever enlist your unconscious mind to help you get what you want? Have you ever enlisted your unconscious mind to confront and replace a limiting belief? So many problems are the result of beliefs that have outlived their usefulness. They're like museum pieces. Identifying your own limiting beliefs is the first step, and it's smart to write them down. This, in part, loosens their grip. Change and improve results begins with an assessment of the rules you have about yourself your beliefs, and you can be confident that they can be spontaneously changed. Choice with determination is the pivot upon which change is finally balanced. You need to take action. Take some time out and take two or three of your limiting beliefs and write them down. If you prefer, you can start with one of the big ones. And then I want you to be creative and use your imagination and actually create one or more images that represent each of the beliefs and draw them. Simple drawings will suffice. Just think creatively. A bowl of spaghetti, highway madness, a brilliant rainbow, the circus, a fireworks display, traffic lights on red, a caged animal, camping, mountaineering, whatever. Do not overthink. Just imagine and draw. The decisive thing to be aware of is that the unconscious mind is symbolic. It is highly symbolic by nature. It is pointless trying to direct the unconscious mind through descriptive language. It simply will not respond. Now when you interpret a drawing, use your conscious mind to fathom what is metaphorically implied. Now for example, a bowl of spaghetti may indicate confusion, not knowing how to make sense of something. Now this is an insight. Now you have a metaphor for the belief. Now if the metaphor does signify confusion, then you may need to create a new metaphor based on clarity and simplicity. Ask yourself, what is it about each belief that traps you, that engulfs you? 
Take each of the images and begin to think of ways to unscramble the belief, but be thorough. You need to cut through the psychological habit that empowers each of these beliefs. So consider in depth how to get rid of each of these beliefs. Do not rush this, just take your time and get a bird's eye perspective on each of the beliefs. You are looking for metaphors. Then ask yourself, do I really need to hold on to this belief? Is there a payoff for me? Imagine what you will see, hear and feel on the inside once a limiting belief has vanished. What will you now experience? What will you now believe? And how might your life be different? Just take a deep breath and imagine being finally free of its control. It will be nothing short of a personal transformation and it could well lead to something absolutely magical. You may be surprised how the solution to a limiting belief is captured by the images that you create. What do your images represent? What do they imply and where do they lead? And importantly, what are you destined to do now that you're putting your beliefs under the microscope? So many of your problems can be eliminated by exploring belief change. Once a limiting belief is tackled through analysis, curiosity, creativity and choice, it loses its power, the shackles are broken. You are then capable of self-organization and growth. Decide to exercise choice. Choice is never a single highway or road to one place. All of your mental pictures, feelings, sounds and self-talk contain specific qualities. These qualities are how you unconsciously structure a belief and you can change any belief by altering these qualities. Start with images. In the meantime, don't delay. Choose to identify and then write down your limiting beliefs. That completes this part. Thanks for watching. If you can, visit my website knowyourmind.com. Let me know where I can send you some information I believe will be of benefit to you. Remember, you have many faces, so why not put them to use? Let's begin the process, the creative process of assessing your beliefs, identifying those limiting beliefs and making the decision to eliminate them. I mean, why settle for these limitations? So until we chat again, take care. Cheerio for now.